Yo, what's happening everybody? Michael here. Welcome back to another lightsaber review. I guess I became a lightsaber reviewer, guys. But anyway, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Today I have with you another lightsaber, but this time it is not a Disney lightsaber. It is not a Hasbro lightsaber. It is a third party lightsaber that everybody usually goes to for the better experience. This one is made by K-Base. This is one of their premium lineups of their RGB blades. They were very kind enough to reach out to me and send this over for a review. But I just wanna disclaim right away that if you're thinking it, it's not true. They have no say. They did not ask me to say anything. They wanted me to give an honest review and that is what I exactly intend to do. But I wanna take this moment to thank K-Base for being a part of today's episode and thank them for allowing me to make this video. So here is the actual saver. Now it will come shipped in a black box that says K-Base. I will display that, you'll see the B-roll footage. And when you open the box, this is what you're getting. Now. Couple things to note. Number one, this thing is incredibly thin. The base of the saber is absolutely thin. In comparison to the Disney Star Wars lightsabers, ooh, almost hit my ceiling, you could just see the difference. Now, obviously this is a curved blade, but if we take a look at the other lightsabers that they have in their lineup, you could see the difference. The difference is night and day. This has a nice amount of technology in it, but with less bulk and actually very light. Whereas this one is more base heavy. And also if you hear the difference, I don't think you can, it's more sturdy and well built together. The quality is excellent. From the start, it is made out of aluminum, but it has a nice black and silver finish with highlights in the details. If we look at the bottom of the saber, the speaker holes are there where the sound comes out. On the base, you have that lightsaber design. It also has a T design embedded into the blade's tilt so you can see the color pattern and shoot out. You also have the activation button and the charging port right on top of each other. Now the blade can be removed. You can remove the blade. There are two screws in the base, which I will show you if you're watching it right now. So you can remove the blade. You can display it if you'd like, but they do come inside of the box with the tools to take out the blade. Now, one of the things to note is that because RGB blades are a lot cheaper, they do have a little bit less of an experience versus something like a Zeo Pixel. But one of the things that I really like about K-Base is that they do offer a variety of things inside of this blade and a lot of features that I don't even see that possible on even Star Wars blades. But before I get into that, let's turn the thing on and let's see how it sounds and how it looks. Now to activate the blade, you hold it down for a second and it will turn on and flash indicating that you've done it right. Now the blade itself is very, very bright. I don't know if you can see it from your end. It may see the light over here faded to the top, but it is very, very bright. I will have a display where you can see it in the dark. The sound comes out of the bottom. It is actually nice and loud. Let's compare it real quickly to the sounds of the Star Wars. So let's compare real quickly. Here is the Disney Star Wars blade. And here is the K bass. So one thing I will give the Disney blades that I will actually have to admit, it does have a more cleaner sound. Whereas while this one is nice and loud, it does have a nice variety to it. It does sound a little muffled, but it is more cleaner on the Disney end. But this one I will say is slightly louder. Again, it's not easy to sound on your end if you're watching, but motion swinging wise, it does have motion detection in there. You can hear it does move around. So it does have a decent amount of swinging, but it does have the battle sounds. So let's take a look real quickly. So it does offer a nice variety of sounds in terms of sound effects. When you hit the button once, there is a lot of features again built in. So when you press the button one time, you can do the deflection mode where if you're getting hit by a laser, That's one. If you hold the button down for one second, it will activate the battle mode where you hold the blade together. It has a nice, actual, very uh, cool look. Let's turn it off. You hold it back down for one time. 
And now let's talk about the colors. Now this is another advantage that the blade has over the Disney blades is that it has 12 built in colors. You saw blue, this is more of like a lighter blue. So let's go through the color phases. I will also show them on your end, but here are the other different colors. You got purple, a little shade of darker purple. You got pink, you got white, your basic white. The white does have a little hard time because when you're holding it, it does flash white. Red, which is actually very nice. As a matter of fact, let me real quickly compare the red, see if you see the difference. Let me know which one you think looks brighter. I think this one looks better. Just put that out there. Nice yellow. Nice yellowish orange. Green, which is also very, very nice. I like this one. Hmm, nice colors. And back to blue. Now to turn the saber off, all you have to do is hold the blade down four times. And now we'll deactivate the saber. Now that's my first negative that I have is that you have to hold the button a lot and there is a little bit of a long process to get there. Whereas most sabers, you just press the button, it turns on, you press it off, it's quickly, a quick release. I would have liked to have seen that. I think that's more easier. Another thing I noticed, the illumination doesn't illuminate like the regular uh, Disney blades or even the other Star Wars blades. It just kind of just turns on. But to be fair, again, the brightness is very nice. The sound effect is loud, but I wish that it had been a little bit more cleaner for my liking, but that doesn't stop there because now there's also another set of features. If you want to turn the sound off with the saber off and fully charge, all you got to do is hold down the blade three times and it will tell you when the sound is off. You could also change the sound effects. So let's display that real quickly for you. Two. So you could change the sound effect to two when you hold it three times when it's off. So there you go. So now you can just display the saber with no sound, with just lights. So that actually is a really neat feature. And then of course, if you want to turn it back on, all you got to do is just hold it down three times. But let's turn it off first. And now we'll turn the sound back on. So these are all the different sound effects that come built into the blade. Let's turn it off real quickly. That's cool. So there is a lot of features built into this blade that you're not getting for a lot of the other products out there, especially if you're buying directly from Hasbro and Disney. Now other third party RGB blades will do the same thing, but in considering that this company has one edge that I really think is great, the biggest edge that I've seen is the price point because this Sabre runs for $99.99. Now originally for $99.99, I was like, you know, that's a kind of a little bit too much money, especially with some of the negatives, but considering that you're getting five different sets of sound, you get Battle Clash, you get 12 different colors. While I wish the blade was a little bit longer, it is a decently sized blade. It feels very, very good in the hands. And considering the fact that you're not paying as much as you would pay for those other sabers, I actually can see a lot of people picking this up. My only negatives that I have is that I wish the sound was a little bit more cleaner. It does sound a little muffled. I wish it was a little bit more clean. I also think for me anyway, I wish that the button, instead of having to hold it down, I wish that you could just press it and then it would turn on and then quickly press it, turn off. I understand holding the functionality does give you those other options and it does give you a feedback to know that you've done it right, but I just kind of wish that it would have done a little bit more. And the last thing is also the charging port. While it's cool that it is right next to the activation button, I sometimes get a little confused. I press that accidentally thinking that's the button. So I think the placement would have been just slightly moved a little bit, but overall, when it comes to the Sabre, I gotta be honest with you, it's actually very good value for only $100. I think it's absolutely great. And right now, K-Base is running a huge promotion for those of you guys watching this video for the first five customers. The blade is discounted at 25% off and you can get an additional amount of savings if you use a promo code in the description, but that's only for the first five. So if you wanna check this blade out, you wanna pick it up, hurry up because it's not going to last. But overall, it is a very, very good blade. It's definitely above average what the average blade will run you. If you're a serious collector, you don't necessarily have to get this because you'll already have Zeal Pixel Blades. But if you're a beginner or an intermediate person, you wanna get into the Sabre collecting, this is a great way to start. You don't break the bank, you get a nice amount of features, you get a lot of detail in here, and it does the job very, very well. So I absolutely recommend it for those that are looking to get into Sabre collecting, and I will definitely add this to my collection. One day I would like to review a Zeal Pixel Sabre just to see the difference, but 
that time will come one day. But anyway, guys, that's it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me hear your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps circulate my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a good day, and peace.